Howdy, it's Mark here from Victoria Technology. I'm one of the authors of Chimp Rewriter, and I'm also Australian, in case you haven't noticed the accent. This is the first in a series of short videos to show you all the features of Chimp Rewriter that'll take you from absolute beginner all the way through to advanced expert. This first video will show you how to download Chimp Rewriter and how to register it. We will also show you some of the differences between the basic version, which is free, and the pro version, which is paid. So the first thing to do is to obtain the software. So to do that, go to Google and type in Chimp Rewriter and click the top link. Once the page loads, to actually grab the software, go to Download. And scroll down and here we'll see the latest version at the top. Click the Download button. This will then display a screen that shows some instructions on how to register. We'll also begin the download process. While that's downloading, I'll show you some of the feature differences between Pro and Free. So if you scroll up to the top and we click on Features, we're presented here with a matrix that shows the differences between Chimp Rewriter, which is the basic version, and Chimp Rewriter Pro, which is the paid version. Down the left we have a list of features that we can hover over to see more instructions or more detail on that feature. We can tick if it's available in that version and across if it's not. If you're wondering about pricing, if we scroll up to the top again, click on pricing and software, and scroll down, we can see that there's three different options. The yearly option, lifetime, that's a once-off payment, you get all updates for free from then on, and pay-as-you-go option. So the pay-as-you-go is quarterly, lifetime is obviously once-off, and yearly is once-a-year payment. So to actually buy, just click the buttons here, and that'll then transfer you to our purchase system. OK, I'm going to pause the video now because my internet connection is very slow and it's going to take some time to download. Right, oh, I'm back and my download's complete. So to install, click, open and run. The installer will extract and then begin the installation process. If you require any prerequisites, the installer will automatically download and install them for you. So to install, just simply click next, next, next. Installation process will begin start to install the software on your computer. Installation complete, so we're all successful. Close that. After the installation is complete, we'll have an icon on our desktop, so I'll just minimize the browser. You see the icon here, so you double click the icon. We'll then begin to load Chimp Rewriter, and it'll display the activation wizard. So to activate, I simply tick this I agree box, we can of course, read the terms and conditions. There's nothing arduous in there, just as you can't copy it or steal it or reverse engineer it. Click next. Right here, we put in our, our email address. So, if we haven't signed up before, we can put in a valid email address. If you've bought the software, you need to put in the email address here that you used to actually buy the software with. So, that's the PayPal email address or the email address you used on ClickBank or through our system. If this is the first time we've installed the software, we get to choose any password we would like. So, type the password in here and retype the password here. If you've already installed the software and can't remember what your password is, just click this button here and it will let the email to you. We recommend that you tick this box. We will send you intermittent newsletters, update information, and so on. We won't spam you. This is for legitimate emails about the software. Click Next. The software will begin to hit our license servers. If everything works fine, you'll be shown the All Done screen. If there was a problem during the activation process, we'll display a screen giving you details on what went wrong. You do need internet access to activate this software. When you're done, just press Finish. And the software will then begin to download the latest thesaurus. So this thesaurus currently contains over 2 million synonyms and is growing daily. It's quite a large thesaurus. Uh, again, I've got a slow internet connection, so it's going to take a little while to download. I'll pause the video again. Okay, we're nearly done, so I've unpaused the video. Progress is right near the end. Right, so download's now complete, and the software is now opened up. We get the version at the top there, so we can see that we are running the latest version. To check that our thesaurus is active, we can click on New Document, type a word, and we can see here that we've got a lot of synonyms for that word. Okay, that's it for this video. In our next video, we'll show you how to use the editor and introduce you to some common terms that we use throughout these videos. Thank you. Bye.